Sa brakate yahawa, brakate yahushai, brakate yahawa, brakate yahushai, brakate yahawa, brakate yahushai. First and foremost, we want to give our praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. Double honor to the apostles and elders who rule well a great millstone. And a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four corners of the earth who push in the gospel in sincerity and truth. Shalom. Right, I want to touch on this um, video. You know, to edify the church of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai. It said Trump threatened to stop aid to UN member state which vote against the US. Right? Jerusalem move. Right, and this council, I think, was Thursday, Thursday gone day. Right, these UN, these UN um, nation, they, they they fought against, they fought against Trump and the move that he make to set up Jerusalem as um, as Israel as the capital of Israel. Right, and all is leading into prophecy. Right, when he said, when he said, the, um, the beast shall hear the or, the whore. Right. Yeah, this this is going back to the US the US allies. You know, these these nations gonna hear the whore. Right? And all this is prophecy. all this is prophecy. Alright? So let's run this video to edify the church of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Alright. President Donald Trump has threatened to cut aid to UN members who vote for a resolution that condemns the US decision recognizing Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. They take hundreds of millions of dollars and even billions of dollars and then they vote against us. Well, we're watching those votes. Let them vote against us. We'll save a lot. Let's get uh, more on this story now from our correspondent Caleb Morgan. Joins us uh, from New York. What's been happening then? What's Donald Trump up to this time? Well, we hear these words from U.S. President Donald Trump essentially threatening to cut aid to countries that vote for the upcoming U.N. General Assembly resolution. Now, we'll recall recently uh, how there was a vote at the United Nations Security Council regarding this issue. Uh, there was a resolution presented by Egypt that would have essentially rendered the U.S. decision to recognize Jerusalem as Israel's capital and move its embassy to Jerusalem. It would have essentially rendered it null and void. Well, well, that resolution was voted for 14 to 1, with every other country represented at the UN Security Council voting for it, but the USA voting against it, and the USA being a permanent member, uh, it, it was then, at that point, it was vetoed. It was defeated because a permanent member does have the ability to overrule um, any resolution. So let's take a, a kind of a review of what went on at the UN Security Council when there was a 14 to 1 vote. Here with us today the status of Jerusalem as the future capital of two states should be determined through a negotiated settlement between the Israelis and the Palestinians. Any decision and actions which purport to have altered the character and status of Jerusalem have no legal effect. Any unilateral actions increase the risk of escalating the conflict. We support the just cause of restoring the legitimate national rights of the Palestinian people. Now, at this point, there seems to be so much outrage in response to Trump's decision regarding Jerusalem um, that at this point it's being taken beyond the UN Security Council to the United Nations General Assembly, which is planning to have a vote. Now, it's important to know that this decision, which will be you know voted on by the UN General Assembly, that's every member state, uh, that that decision will not be binding. However, um, at this point, we've seen Nikki Haley, who is the US ambassador to the United Nations, get on Twitter and warn that she is taking names of countries that vote for this resolution. Now, furthermore, there is a letter that has surfaced um, that's purported to be a letter from Nikki Haley to various UN member states. It's the authenticity is not yet confirmed, but it seems to, uh, th this letter that, is, that has been cir circling, uh, it talks about how Donald Trump appears to be uh, taking personally anyone who votes for this resolution in the UN General Assembly. So, as uh, this unpopular decision was taken by the United States, the USA recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital, um, sparking protests and anger around the world and, and opposition in the international arena. It seems that as a vote is pending in the UN General Assembly, uh, that it's almost as if some effort to intimidate or threaten member states that would vote for a resolution condemning the United States uh, is being taken. It seems like pressure is being put on countries uh, in, in, in the hopes that this will keep them from voting uh, for this, this resolution criticizing the move by the United States. So uh, all eyes 
those are on the UN General Assembly, and we will see how uh, these statements uh, from U.S. leaders, this talk about taking names, this letter which is not yet confirmed, we'll see how this affects the upcoming vote at the UN headquarters here in New York. Controversy continues to be Donald Trump's middle name. Kelly Morpin bringing us up to date there. Thank you. Meanwhile, Turkey is accusing the U.S. Uh, and other countries ahead of the vote on of condemning Trump's statement on Jerusalem, adding Washington should change its course. Yeah, so you see these nations, you know, these nations hating, going to hear the horror and this prophecy, right? These people, you know, the most I, the most I get ready to destroy Babylon, you know, Babylon, your time up, right? You so called you so called white people your time up, you know, and as as how shall I quote he said Satan cares how Satan, how shall his kingdom stand? Right? So you devil you devil you devil time up, right? This is our first Mark of Beast, chapter eight, verse eleven. It was told him beside how they destroy and brought under their dominion all kingdoms and isles that uh, that he said that at any time resist them and this is what america did right all all kingdom was subjected under america because when the most High put in the spirit to give the power to the beast right the most High put in these nations spirit to give give the power over to over to america you know let me get this piece up quick right it's all about ed edification you know edify the church of yahweh Bashem, right? right this is yahweh Bashem, yahweh movie and the most I do in everything that we see happening before our eyes, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai doing it. Right? This is um This is um the Revelation 17 and 12. He said, And the ten horn which thou sawest are the ten king, which have received no kingdom as yet, but receive power as king, one hour with the beast. Right? Um jump down to Um, verse 17 he said for the power had put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give their kingdom unto the beast until the word of the Mosai shall be fulfilled right so the Mosai put in this kingdom mind in order to you know to give the power to the beast which the beast is near to right so so all these kingdoms now what was that what was that what was was um America in um, agreement with America now coming against America now, right? They're coming against America now because this is the most high movie, the most high putting these nation against them as Yahweh Shai quote. If Satan cares out Satan, how shall his kingdom stand, right? So back in First Maccabees chapter eight verse eleven, and it was told him beside how they destroy and brought under their their dominion all other kingdoms and isles that at any time resist them but with their friends and such as rely upon them they keep enmity right there was there was in trade you know in league with them you know they they, they who they who um you know do the say there was you know there was sending aid to them you know and dealing with them be, be the allies you know defending them right and that and that they had conquered kingdoms both far and nigh yeah, the conquer kingdom both far and night. Cause look what they do to um, um, Saddam Hussein and, and and Gaddafi and many other and many other um, kings and kingdoms who who go against them, that bring them down, right? He said both far and near, in so much as all that hear of of their name were afraid of them. And once upon a time, <laughs> this kingdom was afraid of, afraid of America not anymore. Right, because the battlefield level right now, this nation got power too, nuclear power. So back then, this nation was fear, fear America, but not anymore. Right? Verse thirteen. Right, he said also that whom they would help to a kingdom, those reign, and who against they would, they dis, they displace. Yeah, they supplant them, they undermine them. That's why Donald Trump said he, he sent a threat out that Trump threatened to stop aid. To UN member state which vote against the US Jerusalem uh, move. So this this, this we this we this we said it. You know, you can cut all eight of them and you watching that watching them who vote against him. Right? These nations. Right? 
So this is what they say, they, they, they displace them. You know what I mean? They replace them. Right? They stop sending aid. They stop sending aid to them. Right? He said, finally, that they were greatly exalted. Right? And you, you devil is going to be destroyed. Right? This is prophecy. You devil is going to be destroyed. This is Woman Diet chapter 1, verse um, 2. He said, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Yeah, the most high gonna make America small among the other the other heathen nation. Right? Because these nations are gonna come against you, Revelation 17 and 16. Right? They're gonna shoot the missile at you and destroy you. Right? He said that are greatly despised. And America being greatly despised right now because this 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 Donald Trump, you know, this devil, you know, since he came into power, you know, he stirred up a lot of animosity among the world, among nations, right? So the, the most I say. Thou art Salakia, thou art greatly despised. And these nations, these nation, these this nation can't stand America. Right? Verse 3. He said, The pride of thy heart had deceived thee. And Donald Trump is a very prideful man. America, they're very prideful. You know, they're full of pride. Right? He said, Thou he said, Thou that dwellest in the cliff of the rock. Yeah, the carcass mountain, Mount Seer. You soak a white people from the carcass mountains while you call yourself Caucasian. Right? Whose habitation is high that set it is that set that set in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? And this really this devil is saying, no, no nation can defeat them. Right? They gonna stand they they gonna they gonna they, they, they gonna stand as a virgin forever, no nation can defeat them. But Yahweh Hashem Yahweh gonna bring you devil down and we in the time. Right? He said, Though thou exalt he said, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and this and this America, America is a proud is a is a proud nation. Like the eagle is a proud bird, right? He said, and thou, he said, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, this space, the space station is where they set out the space, right? He said, hence will I bring thee down, said the Lord. So the most I see, you can bring, you can bring America, you can bring it down, you can bring your pride down to the ground. You devil, this, you devil, you devil got prepared for slavery and destruction, right? You soak out, you soak out white people, and and you are the heathen nations, right? He said. Um, Verse five, he said, "If thief, if thief came, came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape, if the grape gatherer came to thee, would they not leave some grapes? Yes, when the most I destroy you, devils, you devils not gonna got nothing. You devil gonna be bare and naked, nothing. You know, in one hour, so great riches come to naught, right?" So you devil is gonna lose everything, right? He said, um, John chapter four seven, right? He said, all the men of thy confederate sea have brought thee even to the border. So all the men of thy confederate sea, the U the UN, which is the United Nation, right? And um, the, and uh, NATO allies, they gonna come against you. Your own allies gonna come against you, right? He said, all the men of thy confederate sea have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. So these men were was at peace with you. They deceive you. Right? These men deceive you. Because these men vote against you. They vote against your move. Right? Um, they vote against the move that you moved to make Jerusalem the capital of Israel. They vote against that. So they deceive you. Right? He said, um, Yeah, he said, <coughs> Right? He said, the men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevail against thee. Yeah, they prevail against thee. Right? He said, They he said, They that eat thy bread lay a womb under thee. And that's why you say, you know, they eat your bread with, with, with aid. You know, you just a lot of aid to this country. America give live a lot of aid to these countries. Why Donald Trump threaten them with the aid? You know, you're gonna cut off the aid if you vote against me. Right? It's either you be with me or you're against me. And that's how these devil is move. Once you know it, they in the wickedness, you know they cut you off, they destroy you. That's why you're not supposed to join the league with these devil, right? So he said, they that eat thy bread have laid a womb on the D. Right? So these nations don't care if you cut off hate from them. Because the most this, this is the most high movie. These nations get ready to destroy you. Right? The most high get ready to bring you devils down. So all this is the most high movie. Right? He said. They that eat thy bread have laid a womb under thee. 
there is none understanding them there is none understanding in them so you devil gotta get ready strong right this is this this is beautiful this is beautiful for the many lord to see these things you know and give all praise and glory to yahweh bashem yahweh shai showing the most high bringing this nation to hate the whore revelation 17 and 16 these nations gonna shoot missile at, at, at america and destroy america your kingdom you, you so-called white people kingdom gonna be destroyed so prepare for slavery so this is beautiful news to the men and the lord the hopefully elect right these nations don't care about your aids they don't care about that you know they do the will of yahweh bashem yahweh shai the most i put in them to do it right to destroy you devils right if satan cast out satan how shall his kingdom stand right and with that obviously lessons are defiant want to give our praises and glory and honor to yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders who rule with a great millstone, and a blessed sanitation to the Akyams in the four candy to push in the gospel and sincerity in truth. Shalom.